Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're gonna be up against uh, General Ahmed. This guy is actually very good, and he has a, a, a little bit higher class than my current heroes. I think he has class 9 or 8, 8 and 8 or 9, I'm not sure. But yeah, just a little bit higher class. So yeah, let's go. Map is hostile terrain, and again, if you're new, smash the like button, ring the bell icon to be notified of contents like this or simple tactics to win, as well as subscribe if you're new. Let's go. Okay, so this map is, well, you can go on land here, attack multiple sites at the base. You can choose to do that. However, there's this midsection of the game where it allows aviation such as dragonfly, helicopters, or, you know, wasp, seraphim, vertex, thors, albatross, and hawks, things of that nature to traverse the middle portion of the map. And so, we're gonna have to gather the containers, of course. Um, classic shenanigans of armadillo, dragonfly, wasp, as well as a bit of a rifleman combination to go over here, and of course, get that super container. Hidden infantries, of course, you know, as you'll see or use them later for scouting. Let's see what the enemy have. Okay, so still amassing that. Now, if you may have noticed, I placed the dragonfly and the wasp on hold and let the uh, Cerberus bait, you know, bait the Cerberus into jumping, which he will basically to secure that container. And then immediately using the acid strike, Doing micro control on those dragonflies, keeping it away outside the range of that typhoon in there. And there's absolutely no way this uh, Cerberus will live against three dragonfly um, wasp and two armadillos. And all of a sudden, I got that super container and he'll lose all those assault as well as that um, typhoon. Now keep in mind that I switched to another boost as soon as I got the super container. As of course I wanted to focus more on base development than that of the initial attack that I'm doing. Okay, and so I still got my three armadillos around here through the acid burst and to deal as much damage as I can. Yep, deal as much damage as I can. And I actually saw that hero or X facility being level two. So I'm going to have to retreat at this point as the first Zeus already popped out and he was even forced to produce that assault which again in turn prevents his base development. Okay, so I'm going to have to retreat with all those armadillos that I have here, added more supply centers and of course developed my base, two special vehicle factory, additional dragonfly and so on, additional riflemen of course to be hidden. Uh, on the sides of the map preventing any seraphim rush or any seraphim etc now here goes that annoying seraphim four minute mark very fast rushed seraphim yeah destroyed one of my dragonfly dealt that much damage to my uh vehicle factory for my vehicle factory is maxed out okay now obviously that seraphim will retreat given that i got like this much for a base uh well, base defense, obviously an armadillo can fire in mid-air, um, can fire on air, such as a seraphim or cyclone, as well as two uh, porcupines and dragonflies. Now, with that, being in, uh, with that in mind, I'm actually safe against the seraphim rush, so I continue towards developing my HQ to HQ level 4. Okay, now. Eight supply centers to further my... Um, resource advantage over time. Now, I did not really opt out for a mammoth here since it actually takes a long time for your units to travel and these narrow passages are actually a very, very bad news for mammoth users because you cannot really spread them apart effectively. Okay. Now, I see a Seraphim right there with my hidden infantry. Yep, that's why you always, always need to have them. There's that assault to confirm what I have around here. 
maybe he thought that I don't know or I didn't know about that Seraphim coming here. So I used up my uh, por <laughs> my Jaguars and the uh, Porcupines around there. Meanwhile, I will have Aviation as of course I'll be using a uh, Hawk, uh, well as I planned initially, and a Chameleon around here. I'm actually developing my uh, my prototype facility for level 3 so that I can house the or produce the Leviathan. Okay, here it goes. The Seraphim actually walks in on March mode. And <laughs> to his surprise, he thought that I only had... Well, yeah, he thought I only had like porcupines around there and uh, dragonfly. He was completely not expecting a Jaguar armadillo around there. So yeah, again scouts super container appearing right around there now i'm going to have with this amount of force with the initial units i obtained earlier or my produced earlier i'm going to have to try and contest the super container okay there was also the cerberus thing going on in there so yeah i mean even if you have a class 10 cerberus yeah you can actually jump destroy a bit of for uh, armadillos um that's completely fine However, I will not even care. Yep. Oh, that's not a really direct hit because my armadillos were moving around. Using a vehicle scouting boost to see further, as well as speed up the units of my other, uh, other the Jaguar's porcupines, and speeds up the capturing of, or the uh, progress of capturing that super container. Meanwhile, on my base, I got this production going on for myself, and I also have the Leviathan being produced. And again, I'm trying to hurry it up since I am actually expecting him to go with the Solaris. However, just the Zeus, Typhoon, and Shield came up here. And so I'm going to have to, to retreat to avoid losses. Okay. Sneaky. <laughs> okay. So using the uh, recovery boost to recover the HP of my wasp and my other uh, units that have been damaged, including that building right there as well. Okay, now, again, using the scouting boost to see further. And another uh, infantry right around there to, of course, see anything that's going on around this map. Okay. Now, if you may have noticed, I'm actually preparing the dragonfly. A small chunk of dragonfly along with the wasp right here since i'm going to use this uh this area as the shortest route for my leviathan wasp and dragonfly to get to his base i just had a one rifleman around here to soak up the damage as well as prepare or alert me of any attacks coming from general ahmed i also had my porcupine sp or chameleons uh, spread out like that right there and the mole to tank the damage and, of course, deal additional damage with its turret. And now, my Leviathan is already at the base. Only assaults us here, a Seraphim, or no, a Cerberus. And here we go. It's gonna go and come in for the attack, as I saw with that one Rifleman. Okay, one power plant out for the count, unpowering the special vehicle factory, and delaying his uh, resource uh, production. Activating the uh, chameleon, uh, chameleon fog since I've been alerted with the attack due to the rifleman. Thank you, your sacrifice was not in vain. So I'm already, already am defending this side of the map right here, and avoided that seraphim skill. Meanwhile, I'm actually focusing my fire on that X facility to prevent any further heroes from, you know, further hero production on his end. Meanwhile, um, stuff right here on my end are targeting that Seraphim. Demolishing that with the nuclear. Okay, securing that last bit right there. And then obviously, Typhoons appearing one by one will not really in be enough to destroy my Leviathan. Now I got like three more Chameleons around here. Two, two factories here for my Jaguars and so on. Now keep this in mind that... I'm mostly targeting those the Typhoons and obviously those Zeus. Moving my Chameleons around. And then obviously getting rid of that uh, level 3 special vehicle factory. Using a common defense boost as he might actually try to destroy my vehicle factory. However, at this point, he is just guessing where I 
am or where my units are. Wasp has been reproduced. Dealt a solid acid dust right there on that army, softening them up. Okay, the shield the shield has been destroyed. And yeah, special vehicle factory will also be destroyed. No cancel on that power plant, so you can't really spam anti-air for it will require more power. He's actually preparing for a base trade, as you guys can see. A construction yard right there tells the tale that there might actually be another construction yard as he was actually preparing for that base trade. However, I won the engagement right here due to better positioning and better spread of chameleons apart. And my, yeah, my mole here did help out in terms of the mole turret damage. Yeah, GG. If you would like more content like this, please do subscribe, ring the bell icon to be notified of content similar to this one. Also, smash the like button and leave a comment down below as to what are your thoughts. Again, just to give you a quick recap, just a few group is what it took to win this battle. Yep, strike for the king. Yep, 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 yep. There you go. Just three dragonfly and wasp and leviathan with the shortest route possible directly to his base while his army was out position. And uh, yeah, so he basically had two options there. Either he goes back to his base, but still damage would have been dealt already. And then my Leviathan will just simply run away. And then, you know, like the Seraphim, I'm not really afraid of it since my Leviathan has maxed out anti here. And if you guys can see, my Leviathan still has complete health. Or he can actually attack me. So he's been forced into that kind of situation with the move I made since I attacked first. GG. Alright. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great tank and good luck with your battles. Yay! Leave my yet useless! You useless crab turtle! Useless! Yay! Useless! Bye, Bye.